Welcome to Barnes and No! Where did it go? The way you feel. Sorry, don't leave me. I want you here with Beginning to look a lot like Christmas Everywhere you go Yo, why the ground first? I thought you would never ask. You know why? The purpose of the golf club is to hit the ground, not the ball. Golf's not that hard, and my man Andrew Brewer can help you make it easier. So definitely give my man a follow. This is by far the hypest I've ever gotten on a golf shot. And it All right, boys, I just got to chip it in the circle for bird. Chip it in the hole for eag, boys. Oh, that's the one. That is the one. Get in the hole! You and the boys go golfing for the first oh, time. <laughs> you fucking ass form, bro. <laughs> oh. Oh, ah, fuck my leg the baddest of the mouth inside of my left heel and the reason why I do that is I want the, the putter to be swinging up slightly in the upstroke because if you notice the middle of the face is going to be below the equator of the golf ball when you put it together so in order to hit the putter on the middle of the equator the putter has to be either moving down on top of it or it has to be moving slightly up I like to have it going slightly up so it'll start rolling I got black, I got white, what you want? Hop outside of ghost and hop up in a fan, on. Uh. Guys, we're having a golf girl day and I'm having my first ever golf course drink. Wait, really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I've had a beer on the course before. <laughs> You've been day drinking for a week now on the golf course? Yeah, first time we're here. What a shot. Go grind that out. I'm gonna grind it. Gone. Take some notes when I hit this. Oh my god. That's gonna carry the ball. Ah. Matt's finding the center of the face. Get you got your notes? Yeah, I go. Best putt in Twigs versus Stumps history. Whoa! Let's go! Whoa! 
Are you freaking kidding me? Come on! Are you kidding me? Let's get Are you kidding me? <laughs> you animal! Dude, I, Bro, I, can't, I still I, can't believe I just made I'm that. I'm so glad you're in my, in my cabin. That's all I'm gonna say. Oh my god. Keith's rolling right over it. Yeah. At least I found it. Now I just gotta get the right perfect speed and I'll get it. Let's go! Yes! Oh, down and under pressure. I'm way too fine to be distressed, yeah. Oh, I'm not the girl I was or used to be. Oh, bitch, I might be better. Turn up the music. Turn down the light. I've got a feeling. I'm going y'all i'm here at the golf course for the very first time in my life actually playing and we're gonna see how many times it takes me to hit the ball to get to the hole okay. <laughs> i made i literally have no idea where the hole is it's right there <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> it's on the green oh my gosh i got really lucky she I literally got it this close I that was really close this can't be her first time <laughs> who if you played with i do good on under pressure <laughs> Good under pressure. Do a flip. It's wonderful to see somebody, a young lad like you, with such enthusiasm and excellent instincts for the game of golf. You, in your remarks, uh, recognized that you moved toward the ball and lift up. You were hitting a wood. And you're saying that the ball tends to hook and that you've got an early extension. What I expect you mean from an early extension is that you straighten out your wrist very early. I'm going to act on that presumption. So here's what I see and what I think you might uh, do better. The view that you sent me is looking down the target line, which is probably the one I find the most helpful. And one of the elements that is helpful about that is I can see the disposition of your arms. Now I say that I can see it, it's actually what I can't see that's actually quite revealing. I can't see your left arm. I should see a little bit of it above your right one, but it's hidden from view, and that's revealing to me. And also that your shoulders not only start pointing a little to the left of the target, which is not atypical with a wood because the ball position is left, and that's the trend of the shoulders, is to move into that what they call open position. But also because just as you start your backswing, you turn your shoulders even a little bit more that way. Then on the backswing, as you point out, you think that you get too near the ball and lift up a little bit. I think you're right. And you do a couple of other things too. As a consequence of this slight turning of the shoulders this way and the original position being slightly underdeveloped, your swing is taken away almost too directly down the target line and you close the club face. Now, the effect of that is going to show up later. You say that you hook the ball. I think it starts there. 
as you get into your backswing and you're closing the club face, which means tilting it down to look at the ball more, some champions do it nowadays, but I don't think in your case it's helpful. Then you lift up and move nearer the ball, and then you do a super backswing. But you've got a problem now because you have to get that club back down, and having lifted up, you can't quite get to the ball uh, unless you uncock your wrist very early and close the club face. You have the agility and instincts to do it, but it's probably where that hook comes from and the feeling that you're what you call extending prematurely. So here's what we do. Start by extending and biasing your arms, some of my earlier videos. Look in the basics playlist and you can go through them. And bias the left arm, particularly with the wood, past uh, with the club face square. So the club appears to you to be slightly open. And this left shoulder is a half an inch nearer to the ball, possibly a little higher, and um, then when you walk to the ball, because that has sort of uh, shrunken the amount of space that you have uh, at address, I would suggest that you walk in and then lightly ground the club and waggle. And there's a double benefit to that. The waggle should be as if you're cleaning a windshield uh, with a small windshield wiper blade, very slowly, just once, to test that you can get in these shapes and stay in them and then verify the right distance from the ball. I would suggest that your posture should be a bit more angular, where you're crouched a little more and your tailbone's stuck out behind you. As you waggle, that shows you also how to start the backswing. And you'll notice it doesn't have the club taking out to the right of the um, what would be the optimal takeaway path or closing. It's actually a little bit more neutral and what, to you, will feel slightly on the inside. Inside meaning this side of the target line. Then carry on with your normal swing. And I think that you'll find that you can keep your wrists hinged a lot longer on the way down and only release them as you go through the golf ball. 